It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have two bottles. Count them. One, two bottles here in front of us. They, of course, have a theme. What are we looking at? We're looking at Battle of the Band Brands. We can't say Battle of the Bourbon we bourbon can't, we, bottle, right. I can't say Battle of the Bourbon Band Brands. It, like, it, regardless, but Like, you also, can't say it because this is actually a whiskey. They're not bourbons. Yeah, There's bourbon both. in there. There's bourbon in both of these. Bourbon, but bourbon. finished. So most some people wouldn't say, allow you to say bourbon. Yeah, they're uh, actually b both combination of bourbon and rye. And then this one is additionally uh, finished. But yeah, we're looking at Blackened Metallica. And then number nine, Slipknot. So we thought, you know... Why not just try these both together? They have a lot um, in common. Well, they're close-ish in price. Um, we got this number nine for 40, and we got mm -hmm. the black one for 50, so within 10 bucks of each other. Now, I don't know what it costs near you. They're both 90 proof. Uh-huh, and they're both whiskeys. They're both whiskeys, yeah. so they have that. All um, right. And they have bands behind them. All right, let's see how they compare sonically on a cork pop. Blackened. Number nine. Ooh. All right, more more uh, treble on the Slipknot, a little more bass. A little more bass. On the Metallica. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. Okay. We have our uh, glasses labeled here on the back so we won't forget <laughs> what's what. So the black end is treated with black noise, uh, which is like the sonic enhancement, I think, that they're doing. Yeah, so the, that's what they're calling it, a the, sonic enhancement. Mm -hmm, the black noise process. So that's after it goes into the finishing barrel, mm -hmm. which is the, um, the black brandy casks. Right. So it goes into those barrels and then a playlist of Metallica songs is blasted at the barrels to agitate mm -hmm. uh, the whiskey that's inside. And now you can tell what the playlist was right from this batch number. Yep. So like we have batch 89. They started at 81 because Metallica was founded oh, in 1981. Sentimental. You were founded in 1989. I was founded so in 89. So it's, it's, uh, it's good. Actually what you can do. Get on your computer trusty laptop. Go to blackendwhiskey.com and then to the playlist tab and on number 89 we can tell you the playlist that was blasted at this started with Damage Inc, then I Disappear, Holier Than Thou, Call of the Cthulhu, and Justice For All, great song, um, Confusion, My Apocalypse, and Sad But True. Will this be sad but true? Will it be angry? I'm I hope not. not. Sure. Interesting thing about Blackend is that um, Dave Pickerel of makers of Whistlepig also consulted. Uh, I believe this was one of the last projects that he consulted on. Yes. Um, yes, before... Before he passed before away, he, sadly, a few yep. years ago. All right, well, let's first jump into the blackened. Yes, we've been talking about have enough. it here. Uh, again, 90 proof, uh, mixture, uh, a marriage of bourbon and rye. Very f fruity and dessert-ish. Yeah, but I'm getting like brown sugar and oranges. Definitely the brown sugar. Yeah, I guess I could maybe see oranges. There is a citrus. Orange yeah, zest, a citrus. citrus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it smells pretty inviting. Let's go in. Ooh, it's got a little punch for 90 proof. It does. I've mm -hmm. had this before. Mm -hmm. I had it at a whiskey festival a couple years back. Um, well, we had it Amongst at, many uh, other things. Uh, bourbon and Beyond. And we had it at Bourbon and Beyond. And I feel like both times, no offense to it or anything, but you know, it surprised me a little bit. I think sometimes when you get not whiskey industry people, like celebrities or musicians or stuff coming into that space, you your kind of gimmick radar goes off and oh, you're like, sure. is this real? Is it good? Or is this just like a thing? Um, and I think all the times that I've had it, I've been like, I have that moment of, huh. <laughs> well, that's yeah, better than okay. I thought it would be. Well, I think it all goes to who's behind it. Like, who is the bourbon expert? This one being Dave Pickerel. Dave Pickerel. So why is and there a surprise? So it's kind of like, you know, when you hire an interior designer, it's your house, but you're hiring them to help you finish it, mm -hmm. right? To, to decorate it. I feel like it's kind of the same. Like, uh, in this case, two bands. Sure. Say so we want to get into the whiskey business. Then you find the, the right partner, this one being in Dave Pickerel, and then he led the process. He helps... Mm -hmm finish the house right finish the whiskey it almost has like this nutty note you know kind of like that dickle type of nuttiness i hear what you're saying is in there mm -hmm. i think there's a mm. that fruit sweet almost a syrupy quality at the front 
Uh, not syrup as in maple syrup, just syrup as in like simple syrup. But then it turns into, I think the rye really starts to shine like mm -hmm. mid palate and then onward. Um, you're gonna, I feel like I'm getting, you know, that rye coming through with a nice warm finish. Uh, mm -hmm. For 90 proof, it still gives me a little hug. Yeah. I think it's got some nice flavors. I'm liking the finish. I'm kind of getting like a little bit of a, I was gonna say coffee, but I think it might be a really dark cocoa that kind of hangs around mm -hmm. a little bit. I almost get a little bit of clove in there too. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Clove. Okay. All well, right. That's a nice start. That is a nice start. Have a sip of water. Now we're gonna move on to the next band, mm -hmm. which is Slipknot. Number nine, named because there are nine members in Slipknot. So Cedar Ridge in Iowa is uh, behind the, this is a collaboration between Slipknot and Cedar Ridge mm -hmm. uh, to come out with this. This is the 90 proof. There is also a reserve um, three to four years old. Yeah, you know, just uh, again, same thing with like Dave Pickerel. Uh, they're an Iowa band. So Cedar Ridge was a obvious choice to go to them. And then uh, they collaborate, especially Clown, from uh, Slipknot was the one who was, you don't know a lot about no, Slipknot, no. that's fine. Um, I've seen I mean, I had a phase, don't get me wrong, but I've... I had like a Headbangers Ball, like volume two, and I think there was like one Slipknot song on there, okay. and I liked that one. Well, and, and Guitar Hero, right? Or right, right, right. That is my <laughs> like uh, experience with Slipknot. Well, I've, I've seen them live. I've seen both of these bands live. Who is better, live? Well, I am more of a, a Metallica fan. Okay. Um, just because, who been, brought the better energy? Been with been with them longer. Well, I don't know. It's not it's it's not really fair because it was a free concert that I was uh, I was invited to. A buddy of mine had an extra ticket, so I went, and it was more in the balcony. Mm. Um, Metallica, I saw actually the last concert that Jason Newstead, the bass player before um, Rob, his last concert at the Kentucky Speedway. Um, where actually James Hetfield had broken his back in a, <gasps> in a, or hurt his back in a skiing I was like, oh, no. accident, I think. So he wasn't there. So all these other bands like Korn was there and <laughs> Kid Rock and uh, System of a Down. Was, oh, I know. I do. I did like some System of a Down. Yeah, yeah. So they all kind of the, the singers of those bands came on and sang uh, vocals for the Metallica parts. And then I saw the makeup <coughs> show later. Um, when Hetfield got better. But anyway, about this. <laughs> yeah, about this. Now, on the nose, I think that these are playing in very different spaces. Here's the interesting thing about, or one of the interesting things what? about slip, uh, the Slipknot whiskey is that it is a 60% bourbon and 40% rye. Now, the mash bill of the bourbon that's in here is 74% corn, 14% malted rye, 12% malted barley. It's interesting they went malted with the rye. Okay, so it's 60% of a 74% corn makeup. Okay. Yes. Then it's 40% rye. The mash bill of that rye is 51% rye. So okay. it's a low rye rye. 34% uh, malted barley and 15% corn and malted barley. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of malt going on in here. Now I think that the grain that is coming forward um, on the nose and on the palate is less about the age, um, which normally I would say if it has like a grassy grainy note, like mm. that's sometimes how you tell it's younger. I think it's got a lot of well-rounded things going on and some depth. I think that that grainy note is actually coming from like the malt. Yeah, I, I, would, I would agree with that. This one also for a 90 proofer has some heat, maybe comparatively more so than the blackened. I feel it in the front and middle of the tongue. It mm -hmm. sticks around. It does. It's got a long finish. This one may have it on the finish. It's starting to creep down a little bit. Now, before we go any further, <gasps> I want to throw another little uh, battle between these two. Okay. Which one works better for a slide guitar? Be right back. Did you have fun? Yeah, so they're both about the same, but I like how this one has longer neck, so it's just easier to hold than this one. So I gotta give the slide guitar plane to uh, to the blacken, but All only right. because of the bottle shape. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. This number nine though, it again, 
kind of like the blackened, and again, that was first time around, has a sweetness up front and that spice kicks in at the end, but I think it's more of like a black pepper. Yeah. Versus this one had some clove. Um, yeah, for on. sure, clove on this one. I'm honestly on this third sip, since I took that little slide guitar break, now getting some winter mint, a little bit of mm, does have uh, that minty. effervescent, if yeah. you will. You or know? like a eucalyptus, mm -hmm. yeah. Clearing up the sinuses. When I go back to the blackened after uh -huh. visiting the number nine, I get that nutty note that you were talking about. Wasn't picking up on it so much for at the beginning, but now that I have the comparison. One thing I'll say about the number nine is the first sip and even the second sip, I, I thought I was like, oh yeah, I get how this is three to four years old. There was a little bit of, uh, I don't wanna say youth, but I could kind of pick up on that. Mm -hmm. With subsequent sips, that kind of goes away. Mm. That that kind of just leaves the mind. It really does. And again, I think it's more of the getting used to that the malt flavors. It's got a nice texture. It feels real balanced. Like so, I think it is really just that leaning into that more hmm. malty components. This is a this is a tough battle. This is a tough battle. You know, I like them for different reasons. I mean, I like the the finish of this one. Why do I always forget what this is finished in? Black brandy, probably because I never drank black brandy. Um, Instead of, oh, black bitty. Bam, blam, oh, black bitty. Now it's black, black brandy. Black brandy, bam, blam. <laughs> Just another musical thing to yeah, throw well, in. There you go. And then there's that band. <laughs> Who's that band? I don't know. Uh, Off the top of my head. So as we kind of <gasps> taste these back and forth and try to get a decision here, we want to pause for a second and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get, hey, actually, this t-shirt, uh, these Glen Cairns, our water glasses, our rocks glasses, our challenge coins, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. Mm -hmm. Sarah's going to tell you about patreon.com. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night, and you can join for as little as $1 a month we'll do an after the episode after this that only patrons can see. That's right. Um, where we break it down just a little bit more. Pa patron only podcasts, uh, events, barrel picks, first crack at, you know, challenge coins, all kinds of stuff going on. Boom. All right, so yeah, now I think just like when we do in our, in our flight fights, we kind of A-B test. I think we just need to take a little pause here and kind of just do these back and forth, which isn't the best for camera. Not the most entertaining. So we'll just be back in a little bit. Okay, we did these back and forth. Um, I think we have, we've, well, I know we've said that we've both come to a decision. We've both come to a decision. We have not revealed to each other what that decision is. All right, so we're gonna do the go after three. So the three, two, one, and then go. Um, then on go, right? <sighs> Ready? <laughs> Ready. Three, two, one. Okay. Aha, all right. I went back and forth a lot. So close though. What ended up happening for me was that there was a little bit of like a licorice cherry flavor that came out in this one that is just not not for me personally. So I really liked the nuttiness, like a little bit of that that was going on here, just the overall balance of flavor. Yeah, that's why I linked Blackened. What about you? Yeah, I feel like maybe it was the finishing technique on this one, mash bill this one also didn't give age so i don't know if it was an age thing or not yeah but this one just had a little bit more finished no pun <laughs> intended there but a little bit more of a finished quality to it where mm -hmm. this one where it is good and if i was just drinking it by itself i would completely enjoy it but comparing the two like we were i feel like this one had a few sharp edges mm -hmm. that seemed to be smoothed out in this one now you know what? There is actually a step up to this one. Oh, what? At 99 proof, and it adds reserve. Oh. Yes, it's number nine reserve. How would it fare against this one? I don't know. Oh, but wait. Look, we've got the bottle. Oh, but wait. We have the bottle. And look, we've and got a third glass. That's what this is for. I forgot about this. Let's just But do I'm it. also not surprised this is a very Chad thing to do. <laughs> Three uncorkings in one. Ooh, it was loud, but it, it was, was loud. high. Well, that's just the bottle shape, I do believe. Reserve, now this one is a little bit older. A little bit older. Minimum is... age on this one is four. four. Yes, that is correct. And this is a 99 proof. 99 proof. Not 100. Nope. A little bit more expensive. Uh, we got this one for 65. 65, yep. Yeah. Now that I'm going back, like the grainy notes, the fruit notes that I was getting on the regular number nine, I am not getting. I have to get some more blackened. Yeah, um, immediately I think the, no up. The, no the noses are more similar right here than they are here or even here. Here. 
Uh, yes. I agree with you. Yeah, same mash bill, same percentage, all that. It's just a little bit older and it's higher in proof. Okay. And immediately from the taste, I can tell you that those sharp edges that I was getting on this one are smoothed out in the same way that they are in the black. I agree. Yes. Do you know what? <laughs> I never expected to be like, I love, like I really liked uh, Metallica and Slipknot's whiskeys. <laughs> like in my life, I never thought that I would hey, utter that phrase. It's a great time to be alive. Um, would buy again, mm, not unless I had a specific thing in mind for it. Okay. It's fine. Would want to have, you know, it's interesting. I think it's a cool uh, the different conversation batches. starter. Yes, it's a very good conversation starter. Would buy again, would buy again. Yeah. So, did we just skip to the recommend or not part? Mm. Because, yeah, I'd recommend. Sorry, I jumped I, I think I, I would recommend. And this one, you know, I think I would have these two first. Correct. I agree with you. Like, going back and nosing mm. the number nine against this one, I'm just getting all that licorice that I picked up on a little bit of before, which is just, I'm being like further turned off <laughs> by it. So now between these two, well, okay. the Reserve and the Blackened. 50, 65. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. This is a healthy competition right yeah. here. Yeah, both really good. And it's gonna come down to what, what are, are you, you in, in the, the mood, mood for? for? This one's got more sweetness to it, but it also brings that pepper like this one did. It's like this, num this nine is, yeah. the Reserve is pulling out all of the nice things that I was liking in here, yeah. and it's just more refined. Yeah. Do I have to? I do feel I like have to choose? It's going to be a co-headlining tour where one night Metallica closes, and then the next night Slipknot closes, and they rotate back and forth. I don't know. I feel like people are going to be like, but which one? Okay, I have my choice for today, but it's hard. It again, tomorrow I would choose a different. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, I thought that was going to happen. Yeah. Today yeah. I would choose this, but I really like this too. Today I would choose this, tomorrow I might choose this. I don't know, I think I just kind of locked into this flavor profile. I just have like a honey note that I also really like. Yeah, and I'm just kind of feeling really this right feeling now. I'm really feeling this though too. Yeah, yeah. so um, you know, recommend more on more on this side and, and definitely worth a try over here, but I guess that's where we will leave it. Uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already and like to do so, we'd love to have you. You can click right up here with the metal horns pointing to it. There's also other videos right down here that you can click on. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Jeff. All right, until next time. Why did I whisper? Drink more bourbon.